Hi, Albert here with Mainland Cycle Center. Today we're going to take a look at a 2016 Kawasaki Mule 610 XC in the camo. Now the Mule 610s have been around for a long time, uh, which is a good thing because they're very refined, they're uh, rugged, they're reliable, uh, they're pretty simple, which uh, makes them just very, very solid machines. Uh, these have a three-year warranty from Kawasaki, a Kawasaki Strong three-year warranty. Absolutely the best warranty in the business. Now, when you compare a Mule 610 XC to a standard Mule 610, the XC basically has more ground clearance. It's, it's almost like you put a lift kit on a 610. That's not what Kawasaki has done. They they uh, <clears throat> either change the shocks or the something. But uh, anyway, taller. Uh, the other way that they get some height is this has larger tires tires on it. So this has Maxi's Bighorn uh, 26 inch tall tires on a 12 inch wheel where a regular 610 is going to have a 24 inch tall tire on a 10 inch wheel. So the XC, <coughs> excuse me, bigger tires kind of lifted with more ground clearance. The other thing that they do with these XC's, because you could take a regular 610 and put a lift kit and wheels and tires on it and basically it would look just like this. But Kawasaki re-gears the transmission for these larger tires, uh, so that's a bonus. And you really couldn't put a lift kit and wheels and tires on a 610 for what you could just buy the XC for. So these XC's are a really great value. Of course, this camo model comes in the camo finish. This is a hydro dip uh, finish. It's a very durable, reliable finish. It doesn't scratch very easily. Uh, so a uh, really nice finish. And then this has the bed liner standard on the camo. This, of course, will seat two adults in the bench seat. This has uh, four-wheel drive. Uh, pretty standard dash, uh, sport-style steering wheel. It does have a locking and unlocking rear differential. So what does that mean? With the rear differential unlocked, you've basically got one wheel driving in the back. So if you're using the machine on a hard surface, such as here on the, on the park co concrete on the parking lot here at the dealership, it'll be a little easier on the tires. When you go to turn, the tires won't squeal. But if you need more traction, if you're off-road, you can lock that in, and that basically locks both rear wheels together, and there's no slippage between those wheels. The other advantage when they're unlocked is that it won't tear your grass up like in your yard, or if you're, say, uh, we sold one of these to a golf course golf course for maintenance, uh, it wouldn't tear the grass up. And so that would definitely be a plus in a situation like that. Uh, these are carbureted, but I tell you, they do really, really well for a carbureted machine. This is your choke here. They start very easily. Uh, they idle beautifully. We really don't have any troubles with these. As a general rule, I'm not a big fan of carbureted machines. I always go for the fuel injection. But the carburation on these 610s is so good, I don't, I don't get real worked up about it. Uh, these are an automatic transmission, so you've got uh, reverse, neutral, high, and low in the transmission. And just move your shifter through the gate there. It is selectable two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, so there's your shifter. And uh, you will just pull that down to go to four-wheel drive. Now, Kawasaki does not recommend that you use four-wheel drive unless you need four-wheel drive. I mean, don't drive it down the street in four-wheel drive because when these are in four-wheel drive, it actually turns the front wheels at a little faster ratio than the rear wheels. So because of that, you could get a thunking uh, a noise in the front differential if you were driving it on the street with the different, with the <laughs> in four-wheel drive. Excuse me. Um, ignition switch. 12-volt uh, power outlet there. Got a really nice sized glove box there. Has a couple of drink holders here and here. Let's go ahead and just crank this one up. And so typically I didn't give that one any choke. It's a little chilly here today. It's not cold by any means. And I uh, just give it a little bit of gas. About half throttle to start it. And But even if you give it choke to start, usually what I do uh, to start a 610 is full choke, about half throttle, and turn the key, it'll crank right up. And then as soon as it starts, you can generally turn that choke off, and it will just sit there and idle and, uh, and just purge, just like that, just like it's doing now. So they just, they really run nice. So, like I said, I don't get real worked up by the fact that these are fuel, not fuel injected. Uh, there is an hour meter there, uh, oil temperature warning light, and a parking uh, brake warning light to let you know the parking brake's on, and there's a headlight switch there. Uh, you do have storage in this front compartment. See if I can open it one-handed. Uh, it does have a nice size storage compartment here in the front, so that's a nice feature. Here's that. Uh, there's your parking brake. Uh, the bed does tilt. 
these are a, a semi-independent rear suspension so what that means is that rear axle can move like this um, as opposed to a swing arm that can only move up and down but uh, semi-independent rear suspension the motor that's in these is a 400 cc single cylinder air-cooled motor and uh, they just do really well it does a little bed latch here you know, I've already got it undone but that'll let you tilt the bed so that lets you dump that bed and then there's a look at the uh, the engine the cylinder kind of goes up underneath the seat here a little bit and there's actually a access plug right here to uh, access the uh, spark plug and the uh, dipstick so you can check the oil without tilting this bed uh, there's an oil there in the back for the gear case but uh, this is a very solid motor it has shrouds around the motor with a fan on the crankshaft so it's fan forced uh, cooling air around it uh, steel floor steel diamond plate floor very rugged all steel bed McPherson strut front suspension dual headlights but the, like I said these are really solid machines top speed of 25 miles an hour on these they just really do well so if you if you want something for around the house or maybe just on the deer lease uh, something that you can work with hunt with uh, you can ride these just for fun too but uh, uh, they're probably machines that are certainly machines that are sportier more for just trail riding but if you want something that's uh, really just a great value these bikes at around I don't know I think this is around eighty five eighty six hundred dollars in SRP it'll be in the title of the video uh, just really do great uh, you can't go wrong with the Mule 610 uh, just a fantastic machine alright well that's a look at the 2016 Kawasaki Mule 610 XC in camo all right, we are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at mainlandcyclecenter.com, by phone at 409-948-4969, and we would just love it. If you give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come by and see us in person here at Mainland Cycle Center, where we would love to help you just any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.